Welcome to our Shopify tutorials. Today we will learn how to adjust the inventory level of an inventory item at a location using Postman in Shopify API. The inventory level shows the available quantities of an item. You can read the blog I leave the description to learn about the close relationship of location, inventory level, inventory item, and product variant. Besides, how the order affects inventory. Now we will adjust the inventory level of inventory items at a location. The process of adjusting the inventory level of an inventory item at a location includes four steps. Step 1. Generate API credentials from Shopify admin. Step 2. Get location ID using Postman. Step 3. Get inventory item ID using Postman. Step 4. Adjust the inventory level of an inventory item at a location using Postman. But first, let's go through the following common mistakes, or else the call fails and no response comes up. First, don't activate inventory permission. This mistake will prevent the Postman from accessing Shopify to make calls. Second, wrong calls. If you enter the wrong character or extra space, these are small errors that sometimes you don't notice but it leads to call failure. Now take the first step, generate API credentials from Shopify admin. You can watch this video to learn how to access Shopify API. In this case, you need to activate the inventory permission. Go to the admin, click apps, choose to develop apps for your store. Then click on the app you just created. Scroll down to the admin API permissions and change status from no access to read and write permissions. Click save and click edit private app. After that, we will get location ID, inventory item ID to adjust the inventory level of an inventory item at a location. First, we need to get the location name of the product variant. In the admin dashboard, choose products, click all products, and search the product that you want to adjust inventory level. Scroll down to the variant area, and determine the product's location name. These variations of the product are available in all inventories of Behixa, but you just choose one location where you want to adjust the inventory level. Example, Behixa T-Shirt 2021 New Version 01 Product. This product is available at 428 Dean Bean Fu, Ward 11, District 10 Inventory. Then you need to remember the location name to use in the next step. Now, take the second step, get the location ID. We have to get the location ID because when doing the adjust the inventory level in the postman command, we have to enter the code including the location ID. Now go to the postman. Create a new get with this endpoint. Then click send. The API will return all location information. Copy the location ID of the product variant. Now, take the third step, get an inventory item ID. However, the call to get the inventory item ID includes the variant ID, so we need to collect the variation ID first with these steps. In the admin, choose products, click all products. Search the product that you want to get the product variant ID. Scroll down to the variant area, click on the variant you want to collect the variant ID. Finally, copy the ID of the product variant in the URL. Now, go to the postman. Create a new get with this endpoint. This number sequence is in product variant ID, I just got. Then click send. The API will return all information about the product variant. Copy the inventory item mid of the product variant. Now we are ready to take the final step, adjust the inventory level of inventory item to create a new post with this endpoint. In the body section, enter the code. I will leave the code in the description. Then click send. The API will return the data like this. Let's check the result in the admin dashboard. In the admin, Choose Products, 
click all products. Then search for the Behexa T-Shirt 2021 new version 01 product, scroll down to the variant area, click on the variant you adjusted the inventory level. Continue scrolling down to the inventory area then look at the available quantity. As you can see the inventory level of the inventory item has been adjusted successfully. Above are the steps you need to know to adjust inventory levels. But this way will be easy to do with one selling channel. And choosing e-commerce for inventory management. So the management of the inventory has many limitations. In case you sell multiple channels, you need an inventory management system to easily create, update or delete any inventory related information. Thanks to HexaSync, you can integrate any inventory management parameter from the system to all sales channels, instead of using the Shopify API and making multiple commands on Postman. HexaSync, acting as a middleware, will help your businesses automate your operations seamlessly by connecting perfectly to both your legacy systems and modern SaaS applications. HexaSync will save your business a lot of resources from time to money and you can completely customize HexaSync's integration solutions to suit your business. You can easy to know more about HexaSync when visiting behexa.com. Please consider choosing the best solution for your business. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video about Shopify API. If you have any suggestions or questions, give us in the comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Behixa, connecting applications, automating processes,